Turtles maintain very high biomass in most aquatic ecosystems and sometimes can even rival fish populations. They are also among the most long-lived and slow-growing of all animals. The turtle's shell, which is one of the most incredible defense strategies in the animal world, is made up of bone that is composed mostly of phosphorus and calcium. The shell contributes a large amount to a turtle's body mass. So if we think of this turtle as our model, we can follow its nutrient cycling with several considerations. First, their diet is important because food items have different nutrient characteristics themselves. Turtles eat a variety of food from macroinvertebrates to mollusks to plant material. Secondly, it's important to remember that what turtles don't use from their diet for growth, reproduction, and body maintenance gets recycled back into their habitat through excreted wastes. I want to study all of these nutrient pathways through the common currency of ecosystem ecologists which are the most common and limiting elemental nutrients, carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Over the past year, I've been sampling turtle populations using trapping and snorkeling as techniques and, and collecting information on turtle populations. I've also been learning about their diets and what type of nutrients they're excreting through some new developed techniques. And now I have a large number of samples that are waiting to be analyzed. Thank you. 